What up guys, it's your girl Maddie Meeks and I am back with more The Uncanny Counter. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here, let's be here together. Down below in the description box, I got my link to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Maddie Meeks. And over there I have full link timer versions of my reactions as well as clear versions and a few um, early access series and other things I'm going to be sprinkling in every now and then. So if you want to support me over there, it's patreon.com forward slash Maddie Meeks. And I also have a link down below in the description for my merch store. Store. Okay, I can't even say the words, y'all. Merch store. I have t-shirts, hoodies, um, mugs, backpack, bags, all types of stuff over there with original, hand-drawn, or not hand-drawn. My brother did create these, though, with a pluter. So it is original designs um, by my brother. And if you want to support me monetarily, those are the two ways you can, through Patreon or through my merch shop. But if you want to do shit the free way, which is what I always recommend because it's the easiest best way to support me is to subscribe because it's free i would appreciate that that's pretty cool um what was i gonna say my ear is hurting and i wish i had more glasses um i think that is it but yeah last time on the uncanny counter y'all 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 <laughs> a strong y'all Wow. So we have um, Motok, not really rescuing, but Motok, it was Moon and it was um, Hana. They were involved in like a little skirmish. Uh, Hana went to go find, I think just check out her old uh, house and just like remember, not relive, but just remember what happened in that home, the love and the disaster that happened. We still don't know exactly what happened, um, but we do know that somebody was poisoned or somebody poisoned them. But while they were doing that, they learned that two girls were living in there by themselves because they had to get away from their father. And while they were trying to figure out what to do and where to, you know, where the girls can go for a safer home, they were pretty much attacked by now, here's where it gets a little difficult for me, trying to explain exactly who these guys are. So the bad guys are in the police force, working with the police um, detectives, and I think the chief as well, because the chief is working with the, is he assemblyman of some sorts? Or just a really famous or really important businessman? He's, one of, he's, he's either one of the two or he's a combination of both. So all of the above, um, but they're all working one giant like crime organization. And these are actually the same people who killed or attempted to kill Motok. So who the dude in the car was like, y'all, is that Motok? He was like, nah, that ain't him. That is him. And he jumped on the front of his car and was like, bruh, did you do this thing to me? I, I do, you, you know me? Did you do this? Okay, bet. So they started the fisticuffs and fightings and eventually the dudes got their behinds kicked and they left and they left the, the leader at the time with them in the car and he got his ass whooped a did and he was in the hospital and his brother, who is the important congressman slash assemblyman uh, slash uh, uh, not a real estate, but a business conglomerate owner was like, what in the hell is happening? Who did this to you? Well, I don't know because they wiped his memory. Um, but they did confirm that A, he was one of the guys who stabbed Motok and uh, he didn't throw him off the, the roof because he didn't, he fell off, he threw himself off the roof. But he was there, he was involved with what's going on with Mun's family, even though they are keeping this from Mun at the time. But they do know that he's connected and they're like, how high does this thing go? Because this is all from the original case that Motok was investigating when he ran into this trouble that involved Moon's uh, uh, parents. So it's just a lot. And I'm, I'm just like all over the place trying to explain what happened in the last episode. But all you need to know is that Moon actually found out what in the hell is going on, that everybody was keeping all this information from him. He now knows that Motok, his mother and father, mostly his, his father, were involved in an investigation that cost all of them their lives, especially Motok to a certain point. And he was A, pissed that nobody told him, B, wanted to know, you know, who exactly is in charge, who killed his parents. 
um, see he had all his feelings hurt because the people he trusted to technically lied to him. And I understand that, but I also understand why they didn't tell him. So it was just like a catch, it's a catch 22 thing. I understand both sides of why. I still think they should have told him, give him a little preparation. Um, but Hannah kind of felt bad about not telling him. So she went over to his house and they went to some deep ass <sighs> moment, relivable memory thing. And she got real in the field. She got real in the field because a, this dude sin, I think that's, it's like, uh, what does it say on here? Ji Cheong Sin. Sin just got through killing his dad. Okay. Cause his dad pushed it. His dad, his dad should have sat down and had, had another beverage, but he, instead he wanted to try to kill his son for messing up. And his son was like, bro, you can't kill me. I'm the thing thing. And he got murderized. Okay. So that's, that's over there. But inside of the flashback, like relivable sequence thing, I don't know what to call it. Cause it's not, it technically was a memory, but they can interact with it. And that's exactly what happened. Mun was in there and he was like reliving all this and my feelings was hurt and my chest was hurt. And then he saw the dude and then Hana was like, I know that dude, that's the dude that killed the other guy, the, the original counter that, that the place that you took. And he was like, wait, this dude killed my parents. This dude killed my parents. And then he was walking up on Hannah and Hannah was like, oh shit. And mom was like, not today, bitch. And came through with a punch, a good solid punch. But they should have left after that punch. And he, and they tried to resort in fisticuffs. What's really weird is that he was walking and he could see her in the space like, bitch, I see you. What you doing? Hey, I remember you. You're that girl I fought. Yeah, I remember your ass. Okay, so y'all interacting with my shits? All right, I got you then. And so that's where we left off. We left off on that. And I'm ready to jump back into this. So I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and jump into episode seven. Because <laughs> I know he's going to get out, but man. No, go back. Oh, the kids. <laughs> I have one of those. I got one too. Wait, friends. Like literally almost the same kind of knife. Almost the same kind. Down to the handle. Except for mine's is a uh, rainbow. I do have a non-rainbow one. Yeah, you just had to murderize him. Did you suck up his soul? Sir, if you was going to do it, you should have blasted him. You should have been like, pop, instead of just letting the noise happen. Yeah, you should have thought about that. <sighs> him sad. Oh. And this bad guy with his bald head is so adorable. He's so cute. It's like, I just wanted you to love me. You should have blocked him. You should have shot him. You should have shot at him. You should have closed your eyes and shot. And look at you. Look at you and look at you. Blood's gonna be coming out there. Look at that. Look at his hand out there in the back. Oh my. Oh, this is what he was doing. Damn, he tapped into that shit real quick. <laughs> we don't have time for that. I'm still mad that she did that. Ma'am, get your ass up off the ground. <laughs> Bitch, what? Bitch, what? <gasps> oh my God, he knocked your ass back and get the get the fuck out of Dodge. Get the fuck out of Dodge. What? Why is the phone the centering point for him? How 
does that work? Ma'am, get the fuck out of there. Y'all, I don't. Mm -mm. My hair is too smushy for this. Y'all gotta get the hell out of Dodge. Sir, you really should not be doing that again without a motok by your side. Okay? What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm like, you was following real closely. Listen, I know he's a kid, but can you give him one? She feel like she gonna go run to her baby. Sir, keep your tears in your eyeballs. <laughs> to the rest of the story, please. To the rest of the story. That had he had he to fight the thing. Wiggle baby, wiggle baby. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. That's your new ball. Go ahead. Go on. Come on. Get up in there. <laughs> like, bitch, I told it to you. It'd have been more effective if you caught the video. What you need to do is report this shit back to your boss. Don't. Get your ass involved with him because he is going to fack it up for a real one. And that's going to get her in trouble. Hmm. <laughs> Thought somebody's gonna ram him. Hugon, Hamunyong, John Gionis, Sajangi, Toyogul, Thais, a woman, Sakon. It doesn't seem bad in Sakon, Hambon, Munga, Totanso. I think it's gonna get her ass caught, like captured, not like caught, like, and she did something wrong. Tarun Pungan. Oh no, don't do it, sir. <laughs> sir, your memory is impeccable. She be whipping in that car. She be like, I got to get out of here. Look at him, sir. Un unclench your hands. You're going to get crampies. Oh. Is he already gone? I think he might be already gone. She right behind him, like, beep, beep. My people. You remember this place, huh? Shh, just let it happen, honey. Oh, 
증거 효력이 없어져. 으흠. <웃음> 의사가 힘들 거라고 했었는데 발이 나았구나. 다행이다. Oh my god, he's so fucking cute. I just can't. He's like, oh, she beach. Oh, she beach. That's juices. Dems the juices. Slap the phone out of her hand. Slap the phone. He's so pissed. I know you are not about to vomit. Bitch, you're the chief. Get your dick together. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Y'all bitches in trouble. That looks beautiful. It's plated beautifully. Too bad he's, I mean, he's so handsome, but he's a bad guy. I just, I can't. 1, 2차 개발이 워낙 히트를 치기도 했고요. 대신 그룹이랑은 좀 거리를 두라고. 배상필 대표가 사망했습니다. 곧 지청신 수배가 떨어질 겁니다. 자세한 내용은 찾아뵙고. Look at his eye fucking flinching. 그거 누구시오? 그렇죠. You didn't have to kill that old man. You could have just left him alone. Look, you didn't have to do that. He was already old AF. What was he gonna do? Nothing to nobody. 증거 있으면 갖고 와보라 그래. 난 화장실을 간 적도 없고. 사장님, 제가 하겠습니다. 내가 죽였대잖아 지금 내가. Sir, can you shut the fuck up? Hey. 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 Hey.